Okay, one, two, three, four, five. This is a sound test, a microphone test for the Sonic G951 Ping Gaming headset, and this is a 7.1 virtual surround sound headset. Obviously, by the design, it's uh, it's made for ladies with this kitty cat pink design. By the way, when I showed it to uh, friends, ladies' friends, and they immediately loved it. Uh, the overall quality when I opened up the package was shockingly high, so it's not your cheapo headset. It's a very, very nicely designed and made headset. Uh, the features are easily available at the left side. Speaker, vibration switch, which uh, basically makes the sound effects very realistic. LED light, it's uh, for turning on off the side lighting. It's not very dominant, but it's still fun. Volume control and the microphone switch. The microphone switch, when turned off, uh, the light goes out at the end of the microphone as well. Overall, I the sound quality that I tested was very good after I made some adjustments. Now, first of all, uh, the no driver or uh, software came in the CD with the headset, so I had to go to go online to the Summic website and uh, under the driver download I found the proper one right here G951 Pink RAR so I downloaded that, that uh, software and installed it and uh, this is what it gave me well it was very very confusing because obviously there are two options the speaker and the microphone and that's it so I was wondering where the heck is my 7.1 surround sound because uh, this is only stereo stereo right uh, there are some sound effects here for playback, but uh, I didn't really enjoy them much. And there's supposed to be a manual mode, so I was I figured that there's gotta be something here. By the way, uh, if you don't see it, there's a, this switch button right here. If if this is what you see, then just click here, and then you get this menu. Now, it, in the beginning, it's first minutes, a couple of minutes, it just don't know the living hell out of me, I mean, how am I supposed to add anything, because I, I can't, clicking on the manual button doesn't do anything. Okay, I had to, I realized that I had to double click, double click on this sign, and as well here, in order to achieve anything, or, or get the menu. I don't like this particular software solution, because basically once you click on it, just a single click, it should bring down all of the menu options. So I, I don't know who designed this. This is not definitely not my favorite. Now I went to surround sound, and I couldn't enable it. I was like, what the heck? And it gives some explanation. Then you have to enable this or that or that or blah blah blah. Okay, so again, I don't like it. Uh, so I had to go here and enable this in order to go back and enable the surround sound like this. Now, when I tested it in a video game, the surround sound definitely uh, shows its presence, but it's not that dominant as some of the previous headsets I had in my life, and uh, obviously they were very high-end wireless gaming headsets, $250 plus price range, but uh, they were very, very dominant. This is not that dominant, even though you do have the surround sound effects. Now there are other options, uh, volume control, sample rate settings, equalizer, you can for playback you can uh, switch between a variety of options or you can just uh, set your own manual, name it, save it, etc. I don't want to use it. Uh, environmental effects, again there's a whole list of them Basically, it's just sound distortions, so I don't like them. I don't use them. And this uh, setting that I had to enable was basically you can test by moving around the speakers in a virtual reality settings, and uh, that changes the effects, or you can set it back. The next one is uh, singing effects. I mean, it uh, changes the pitch lower or higher and this vocal fading I don't know I, I don't use any of that 
And on the microphone side, we have the monitor feature, it's uh, disabled. If you enable it, and especially if your microphone is set to 100%, you can definitely hear back uh, your own voice. If you turn it off, basically you only hear what's coming from the outside. Now, when you enable it, you can hear yourself back. Uh, separate settings again singing effects, echo or magic voice, basically the magic voice is uh, like voice morphing very very simple four options I have a voice morphing software much more sophisticated than this so I don't need this however if you don't have one it, it, uh, it gives you a couple of options the microphone boost I highly recommend to enable it uh, by default it is disabled so the, your microphone is always kind of uh, weak powered unless you speak very loudly or you're very excited in a video game and start yelling like a maniac. So overall, I don't particularly like this software package because I've seen much, much better solutions uh, than that. And uh, much easier to use. Everything is right in front of you. So this one is definitely not my favorite. Another thing which I checked and just confirmed that uh, since this is a USB device, an individual device, as a USB uh, external device, my internal Nehemic software package is not compatible. So I can set for, for example, noise suppression. Right now I don't need it, and uh, I tested the sound quality previously, and it was very, very good. So uh, it's not necessary, however, many times I run my air conditioner right next to me and that generates a lot of noise and noise suppression definitely helps out a ton with that also the audio settings that I have with a regular uh, separate microphone and audio three and a half millimeter plug type uh, headsets I can utilize all this but not with the USB and this is just uh, true for all USB devices USB headsets that are operated in a virtual environment so this is what it sounds like with uh, microphone uh, microphone boost enabled uh, this is definitely a ladies headset girls like it I think and uh, this is what it sounds like so this was the sound microphone test for the Summic G951 pink gaming headset